fellow fans, it's the big guy here, Cody the King of YouTube, coming at you live. I didn't want to make this video, folks. Honestly, I didn't. I had uh, sort of planned on it. I was going to do a review of it, uh, but I put it in the can. I put it in the vault because I thought this would just be some stupid trend that would blow over, but... That's turned out not to be the case. I guess I should never underestimate the profound stupidity of the unwashed masses. But it's it's hit sort of close to home now because one of my neighbors, the kid, he cussed out his dad over a game of Fortnite. He, he wasn't the last survivor, so he, he starts cussing out his dad. So then I said to myself, Ooh, this stupid little punk. Time for me to make a big video. So when that, uh, when I go over to the neighbor's house and pull up this video, he'll feel embarrassed. But Fortnite, uh, let's get right into it. Very bad, uh, unreal graphics. Uh, I thought I was uh, on an episode of uh, my life as a teenage robo or robot. Uh, this thing was so stupid. The graphics uh, were some of the most un unrealistic thing I have ever seen. It wasn't immersive at all. And the whole uh, point of the game, you're trying to uh, be the last one uh, alive. So basically, people, people are saying this is the greatest game of all time. They're saying it's groundbreaking. When the whole point of the game is to try to not die. And that's basically what you do every day of your life. You try to not die. So how is that a groundbreaking uh, thing? That <laughs> Do you see how stupid that sounds to call that groundbreaking? It's more of the same. Uh, shoot 'em up, killer spree, blood, bloodless game. Training our kids to be killers. Training people to uh, not think that killing and people dying is a bad thing. They want to normalize all this. So what we're gonna have, you can expect there to probably be more uh, mass shootings in the future. I'm willing to bet that at some point there will be another mass shooting in the future. And, uh, I'm willing to bet with some certainty on that, folks. And, uh, I, I look up the news of this. I, I, play, I played it myself, of course, uh, for many hours uh, to give you an unbiased review of it. And the whole thing is just clunky. It's just silly. It's uh, stupid. And it's not silly in a good sense. It's silly in a very bad, bad a very bad, sinister type of silly. But you look at the news, and there's this kid, He he's playing on his Xbox, so the dad, he pleads with this kid on the uh, uh, news channel. He says, uh, son, get off of there. You've been playing for eight hours today. So the kid gets off the Xbox. He moves over to the computer. So the dad says, kid, son, I know what you're doing. You didn't get off. So the kid finally goes outside and he's on his telephone and he, the news anchor comes and films him directly and he says, you can't stop me, dad. Straight into the camera. The kids of today, they have absolutely no respect. I've been watching, uh, uh, you know, studying the kids in school. I'm part of an undercover sociology project where I pretend to be a student at schools and I bully the high school students. Uh, nothing bad, I just uh, make fun of them based on their weight or their how they look, or how stupid and dirty and uh, uh, out of style their shoes are, and things like that. But um, these kids, during the pledge, they don't even put the hand on their heart at all. They're doing Fortnite emotes during the pledge. They're doing the uh, uh, Rodeo Robot and the Electric Shuffle. They're doing Fortnite emotes 
during the Pledge of Allegiance. And if that doesn't sort of make you angry, folks, then...